Welcome to San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week. I'm your host, Valley, and I'm here with Sabrina. Hi, girl. What's hey, up? how are you? Good I'm to great, see you. I'm great. So our question this week is, what would you advise sellers to give in concessions to stay competitive in this market? Sure. So the hot topic right now with seller concessions is a rate buy down. Okay. So we're in a shifting market. Most people know that. Sellers are having to look at price reductions or maybe not getting exactly what they had hoped for on price. So instead of dropping a price, yeah. the seller can offer a rate buy down to the buyer. Yeah, and it's more effective for the buyer, right? Because it's it, cheaper. Yeah, and it gives them more flexibility in their payment to buy the rate down than to lower your sales price. That doesn't help as much. Sure. Instead of fixating on sales price, we can look at monthly payment. Right. So you can get a bigger bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. And the lender requires that the seller pay the rate buy down. Mm -hmm. The buyer can't pay it. How would a seller know how much they have to give? You know. um, on a couple of deals lately, we were looking at around 16000 mm -hmm. which um, is a pretty good bang for your buck to lower the buyer's interest rate. Right. And so do you feel like sellers now know that this is the market they're in and it's time to start giving concessions again? Sure. I think I think the awakening is happening and, yeah. and the reality is hitting. It's settled in, huh? <laughs> we get to have those fun conversations with sellers about maybe not getting exactly what they wanted. Yeah. Is um, What else do you think a seller can do to kind of just stand out from the crowd? Sure. Um, standing out, well, we love great photography. Yeah. And um, agent relationships are super important. Uh, so much. It's I always say it's like a little bit of a secret. Whenever a client sends, a buyer sends me a property, mm -hmm. the first thing I look at is who's the agent. Same. Oh my gosh. I just bypass everything. I want to know who I'm dealing like with. Like as a lender, I go when I'm writing offers, I'm like who's the agent because I might know them. Exactly. You know, and it helps so much. It's like friendly, friendly faces. You know. Totally. Because when you work with somebody that you know, you know like how it's gonna go and if they're gonna close, if there's gonna yeah. be chaos, so you, you already know ahead of time. Yeah. So it just makes it that much more. Um, just locked in for the seller. Right, right. Another really smart thing to do in any market is for a seller to have a certified home inspection on the house. Ahead of time. To get a handle ahead of time before the buyer does. Yeah, so they kind of know if there's going to be anything that comes up. Yeah. They already have it either fixed or they're prepared for the Yeah, for it's it. either a disclosure that's not fixed or right. an item that the seller has repaired because oh it's cheaper to have that repair handled mm -hmm. before the buyer finds it because um, – there's like a, I guess, a running joke or a meme like, oh, the doorbell's broken. I want $5,000 yeah. like for buyers. Like, and you're already giving them like 16000 potentially. So <laughs> right. You kind of want to know ahead of time. When you're looking at credit, sometimes those are inflated over what it would actually cost totally. to repair the item. Awesome. Well, I like how you put that and kind of put a number on things so people can get an idea of what to expect. So thank you, Sabrina. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for watching.